Hey everyone, welcome to our Workout Wednesdays. So today, as promised, is going to be a core day. So we're really focusing on three different muscle groups when it comes to the core. Uh, we have our rectus abdominis, our internal and external obliques, which are different, but I still am categorizing them as one for right now, and then our transverse abdominis, which goes across your stomach. So we're gonna do exercises that go along with all three muscle groups to make sure that you're hitting every part of your abdominal muscles. Now, keep in mind, I am two months, roughly 10 weeks postpartum already. So if you are pregnant postpartum and you have diastasis recti or you're trying to be very mindful of not making it worse or not getting it at all, these, some of these might not be good for you. So fair warning with that. All right, so we're going to do five different, excuse me, four different exercises and we're going to do them in a circus style fashion, okay? So the first exercise we're going to do is a sit up and I'm going to actually anchor my feet in um, to my bench right here. So you can do this or you can just have your feet flat on the floor. Either or, this is going to help me out a little bit because I am still regaining strength in my abs. Um, but we're going to do 15 of these, all right? So we're gonna do straight up sit ups. My feet are anchored, my hands are behind my head, my chin is off my chest, and we're gonna go up for 15, all right? So we wanna really focus on the movement of these exercises. So I'm not just like flinging myself up my I don't know if I should count that as one or not. Um, we're not putting ourselves up. I'm really being mindful of the abdominal muscles I'm using, controlling my way up and down. All right, and then again, as my feet are anchored in this bench, I'm still being mindful that I'm using my abs and not my hip flexors. So sit-ups have gotten, and crunches have gotten a really bad rap you know, over the last handful of years, and you may have heard like planks are the best ab exercise you can do. We are still focusing on again, another major muscle group of the abdominal muscles with this, the rectus abdominis. But the reason why you know, the, there's controversy when it comes to doing sit-ups or crunches is that people tend to use their hip flexors and not doing things with good form. However, if you can do these with good form, I mean, you're focusing on your abs and you're not ripping with your feet on whatever objects you get those 15, on whatever objects you are, um, if you're anchored on, then you are okay. You can still do these, okay? So our next exercise is going to be Russian twist. So then these are going to focus on our obliques, internal, external, and then I'm going to add a little say, a twist to it um, for the Russian twist. Good joke. I wish I intended to make that joke. So we're going to add some spice to this. We're going to extend one leg out as we are um, twisting over to the side, and then we twist the other side, and extend the other leg. Chest is still up. Chin is on our chest. We rotate as far as your body allows. Again, if this is too much for you, you can keep your feet on the floor, up in the air, or like I said, you can extend over here. Now I just start counting, but let's do 15 each side. I'm just gonna guess this is nine, nine, 10, 10, 11, 11, good. 12, 13, 14, 15. So if you're anything like me, again, like I said, I'm still building up my core strength. I am very fortunate and very lucky that I didn't have diastasis recti and that I'm capable of doing ab work. Um, I did spend the last two months like really focusing on building up my core strength again before adding in these movements. However, if your abs are a little weaker like mine are right now, you may feel that in your lower back or in your back at all because it's hard to hold yourself upright. So again, that's when you can really focus on putting your feet down and focus on good form. So I may do that next time around. And now we're going to do plank knee taps. As exercise number three, I'm going to go into my hands, pinch my shoulders back, plank position. Shoulders squeeze, abs engage, butt is squeezed also. So I'm in one straight line. I'm gonna tap my knees to the ground, drive through my toes, and stand, I'll stand back up, kind of stand back up, raise my knees off the ground again, tap and raise. So 15 of these also. And we're breathing, okay? So my favorite style of training is circuit training because I think it's very efficient, it gets everything that you need done. It gets your strength working, strength builds up, and then it also gets your heart rate up. So you may hear that I'm a little out of breath. Absolutely normal and absolutely fine. It's a good thing. Okay, this is 13. Two more. 14. And then last one, 15. Good. And then our last exercise is going to be leg raises holding a crunch position. So again, we're really focusing on our abdominus here, but now with this, we get our full transverse abdominus. 
All right, so hands behind my head. I'm in that crunch position. All right, don't mind my extra skin here. All right, feet are flexed. And we're going to lower our legs as far as your body allows and raise back up. All right, let's go forward just a little bit so you can see me a little better. Good, flex my toes, lower my legs, come straight up. All right, so if you can, lower your legs all the way down to the ground, great. I am still not that strong yet, so I'm not gonna do that. However, whatever version you're focusing on, however low your legs are going, you want to make sure your lower back is flat on the ground the whole time and that the weight of your legs is not carrying your hips. If you notice that your back starts to arch up the ground like this, then maybe you're going a little too lower, you're not controlling the muscles. You really want to push your lower abs and your entire abs down into that ground, all right? So it's still hard for me to figure this out. I'm really building up the strength for it. And that's why this is so important. All right, five more. Good, 12. Ah. See, if you notice, I'm rocking a little bit and I don't intend to, so I'm gonna reconcentrate, refocus. Breathe, good, one more. Good, all right, I'm gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna do that circuit two more times. So again, we're getting a little bit of everything with the, oh, I can't talk anymore either. We're getting a little bit of everything with this one. Rectus abdominis, obliques, transverse abdominis. All right, so 15 of each, 15 of everything. This is great, take a break if you need to. If not, you just keep going. You don't have to listen to me. All right, 15 reps, let's go. Sit ups, chin off your chest. Remember, we are using our abs and not our hip flexors. All right, and that's why people tend to not like sit ups and crunches because you're doing them incorrectly. All right, it's easy to do them incorrectly, but do the best that you can to not, again, grip with your feet. Don't pull back towards you. All right, just use it as an anchor. Every time it's going like straight down through your foot and not pulling towards your face. All right. Feel we're breathing. I think I actually am going to be really sore after this. So I just started doing like ab work like this in the last probably a week or so, I want to say. So I did basically, I mean, I did ab work throughout my pregnancy, but it wasn't, go go more of these, but it wasn't so intense. I was very mindful again to avoid doing anything that would make diastasis and stress diet even worse. Um, so this is all really difficult for me. This is good. All right, Russian twist. So again, you can have your feet planted on the ground. You'll raise them off the ground, or you can do the um, one leg in, one leg out like I was doing before. So 15 each side, whichever version you're doing. I'm going to start with my legs going in and out. And if I have to, I will take a break, and that's okay, all right? Or I'm going to change my variation of it, and that's okay. All right, so let's go. One, one, two, two. Keep a neutral spine. Chin off your chest. Good. Nice and straight here. Again, I'm really trying to concentrate on these movements. Now it's getting difficult for me right here, and I just am starting nine, ten, eleven, ah, twelve. 13, 14, oh my goodness, 15, good, all right. I'm happy that's done. So, it's getting difficult for me. I said I rep eight, and then at the end of it, it was like rep 14, I did feel it in my back, okay? So again, be mindful of where you are and how difficult it is for you and what you need to adjust with that one. So the goal again is to feel it in your sides. You will definitely feel it in your lower abs as well. All right, we have our plank knee taps. So set yourself up in that good plank position, shoulders back, hands under your shoulders, lifts up onto your toes, abs are squeezed, shoulders are squeezed, butt is squeezed. All right, I'm gonna tap down for 15. Now with this one, the tap, you may even feel this in your quads. The more you can squeeze your quads, the more you're gonna feel it in them. Crazy how that works, all right? But that up and down, the lowering position, will really get those abs fired up. Again, you can hold that plank, and obviously it's gonna you know, really be difficult in itself, but adding in this kind of movement adds in that little bit of extra spice that I always like to add to some movements, just to make it more fun for me, to be honest. Okay, last one. So, with exercising, I like to take the basics of every movement. I like to take the basic squat, the basic lunge, the basic deadlift, 
basic push-up, chest press, whatever it is, and add like a little something to it because that's what keeps me motivated to do those all the time. If I didn't um, change it up like that, I would probably get really bored of exercising really fast, but I know a lot of people do, myself included. So, I always want to make sure that we are uh, hanging in there, having fun. All right. So we're going to stay in that crunch position, and we're going to lower our legs for 15 feet flexed. Remember, hold in your lower abs so your lower back does not come off the ground. Again, notice how low or high, depending on what you want to look at, my legs are going. I'm not lowering much more than about halfway because I know my abs are still rebuilding. If you can go down all the way to the ground with perfect form, that's wonderful, good for you. If even just a two inch movement is a lot for you, focus on that, all right? So no matter where you're at, we're still building up muscle, we're still building up yourself so you're getting better than you were the day before. This is 11 and 12, I'm still breathing. Good, 13, 14, good, last one here, 15. All right, so we go through all these one more time. So it's four exercises, three sets of 15 of each exercise. I'm taking a quick break. My abs are definitely burning, I will be feeling this. And again, we're focusing on all the muscles of your abs. Great work. All right, sit-ups coming up, 15 of these. And we lift up, one, two. So, like I said, rectus abdominis muscles. All right, for diastasis recti, which I know I mentioned a couple times, if you're not aware of what it actually is, basically as your stomach is getting bigger with pregnancy, however, it doesn't have to be just pregnancy, but that's my example. As the baby's growing, as your stomach is getting pushed out more, your ab muscles kind of separate based off the, um, there's a connective tissue that runs linear, vertically up and down your stomach. So that separates in order to create room for the baby. So obviously, you know, you don't want to make things worse. Obviously a separation where there wasn't one before is not going to be the best thing for you. And that could be the most ideal scenario. So you just don't want to make it worse. So any kind of crunching movement of your rectus abdominis, twisting movements are not going to help that. Any. It's only going to hurt it. Perfect. All right, 15. Um, it's going to pull that separation open even more, which we don't want because it's going to be, take longer to recover. However, once you can practice engaging all your core muscles from that deep, deep, deep core activation work, then you can start to add in these movements here and there, depending on how severe it is and how you're feeling. All right, Russian twist, leg extends. I'm going to take a quick breath. So I know this one's really hard for me, but that's okay. I think you can handle this one. All right, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Counting helps me. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, perfect. Plank knee taps. We're almost done. All right, here we go. Plank position. Hands. The core, stomach. <laughs> Butt squeeze. All right, and you tap. And we raise for 15. Go ahead and really focus on those activation muscles. All right, and we're concentrating on those muscles also, all right? So the more you can think about your muscles, the more you can actually think about activating them, the more work you actually get out of it. Right, it makes sense? Good, this is 13, 14, and 15. All right. And we have one more exercise, then we're done. All right, let's get to it. So, laying down, flat on our back, hands behind our head, shoulders and chest raised up slightly off the ground. We're gonna flex our feet, lower our legs, and we get going. Two, three, lower back is flat to the ground. Again, if that gets difficult for you, refocus and reconcentrate. I know I had to do that in my first set, or don't go as low. If this is easy for you and you want that extra challenge, bring your legs even lower. All right, so we're almost done. This is nine. Again, counting really did help me. 10, <laughs> this was twice. 11, 12, keep pushing. Three more, 13, 
14, and then last one, 15. Good. So you can just kind of hang out here, stretch out your stomach, let your arms extend out, let your legs extend out. Do whatever you need to do to stretch. I am going to pop on off and say congratulations. Great work. I am very proud of you for doing this. Have a lot of fun with it. I hope you had a lot of fun with it, and I'll see you soon.